Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be going over trigger pressure, okay? Be sure that you have your notes out and ready. First, let's start with a definition. What is trigger pressure? So, trigger pressure is the pressure that builds inside of plants whenever water is absorbed, okay? So, plants have really strong cell walls that are strong enough to hold water inside of their cells. Whenever the plant cells have enough water, they become stiff, or your vocabulary word that you see here is rigid, and that's what lets plants stand up straight. So when a plant stands up straight, it is called rigid, okay? So what does trigger pressure even do? First off, plants can have high or low trigger pressure. Depends on how much water they have in them, okay? If a plant's been watered correctly and it has enough water, it will be rigid and stand up straight, like you see in the picture. If the plant does not have enough water, okay, then its cells, remember that water pressure pushes on the cells, so the cells start to kind of deflate because there's nothing to hold them up. So that's when your plant starts to wilt and lean over. You can see it drawn here. So with high trigger pressure, it has enough water. With low trigger pressure, it does not have enough water. So let's look at what the plant cells look like, okay? Inside of each plant cell, there's a special place that holds water called the vacuole. You can see these, they are highlighted blue to show that they're holding water, okay? When the water is inside, remember it's trigger pressure, it pushes, it applies pressure on that outside of the vacuole, okay? So here, remember that word rigid, a synonym is turgid, okay? Turgid, sorry friends. So here there's high pressure, meaning there is water, it has enough water, which is why that plant cell is pushed, the pressure is pushing on it to make it expand all the way. Now remember, whenever the plant doesn't have enough water, it starts to wilt and its cells are um, getting deflated. So here you can see there's not enough water in this one. It has low trigger pressure. So whenever it starts to wilt, we say that the plant is flaccid, okay? So flaccid is the science word for when it's wilting because then it's soft and it doesn't have structure versus whenever it has high water, high trigger pressure, it stands up straight, it's rigid and turgid. So now let's look at a couple of these examples, okay? Starting over here, I want you to think, does this have high or low water, I'm sorry, high or low turgor pressure? So I want you to think, it is not standing up straight, it is leaning over, it is flaccid, so it has low turgor pressure and it needs water, perfect. Look at the next, next example. This plant is standing up straight, it is rigid, so it has high trigger pressure, it does not need water, perfect. Now I want you to notice and look at this one, okay? You can see that the plants are not standing up all the way, they're kind of leaned over. You can also tell that the leaves are no longer green, okay? This is how you know that this plant has low trigger pressure, it's also dying, okay? So this one definitely needs water. The last example here, it's kind of straight, but I see the leaves are starting to tilt. That's right, guys. This one also has low trigger pressure and needs water. Perfect job. So let's keep going and discover why is trigger pressure even important? Why do plants need to stand up straight? Why can't they live their lives bent over? So I want you to think back to last week and what we learned. How do plants even eat? Huh. Well, we know that plants use photosynthesis to make their own food. And remember, that happens in the leaves. Remember those chloroplasts, the green homes, has the special chemical or special substance, chlorophyll, for the plants to be able to make their own food. Now, how are the plants supposed to make their own food if their leaves are all bent over? They're not getting the sunlight that they need by standing up. So, Turgor pressure lets the plant stand up straight towards the light so the leaves can catch all the sunlight to do photosynthesis to make food. So this is why with the plants, like the plant we saw in the last example, whenever they start to wilt, 
they start to die because their leaves can no longer get that radiant energy from the sun to do photosynthesis with. Okay? Be sure you have all this in your notes. If not, rewind this video and catch up to whatever part that you missed. Okay? See you later, guys.